So the first operator that we're going to look at is the tab operator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move those functions down so that you guys can still have them as reference. And I'm going to use the get users to get all of the users and then use it to show you some data manipulation. But we can use any one of those functions here. So let's take a look at the tab operator and see how we can use it. So let's go into the documentation to know what exactly is the tab operator. So I'm on the website and you can see here it says the tab operator perform a side effect for every emission on the source observable, but we turn an observable that is identical to the source, which means the tab operator is going to take an observable and we can maybe like look at this observable and then it's going to return an observable that's identical to the source observable. And you usually use the tab operator so that you can take a look at the data to see if you're getting exactly what you're getting and things like that. It's used for debugging, so it's more like a console log kind of thing, but you can use it for other things as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tab operator. So let's say I want to take a look at the data um, using the tab operator, in this case on the get users function. So before you can use any operator, you have to call the pipe function. So we're going to do pipe. And what this is going to do is it's going to put all of the operators together. So whenever you need to use any operators, you have to call the pipe function and then pass in the uh, you know operator in there that's going to take your observable. And that's just how it works. You have to call the pipe function so that you can kind of like lump together all of the function that's going to take in return an observable. So here what we can do is inside of the pipe function, we can call tab. So we're going to say tab, open and close. Uh, parenthesis and we have to import that this is supposed to come from rxjs operators and you can see here i have the tab operator and it's coming from rxjs slash operators so now what i can do is remember this is going to take the incoming observable right or the source observable so what i can do is i can just call it users because i know it's going to be an array of users and then i can do something with this users before i actually return it so let's say we want to just console that log this information and then we're going to say users. OK, so that's how you use the tab operator. You can just tap into the data uh, to take a look at it, you know, if, if you want to. So now if we go, let's make sure this application is running. Check the terminal. All right. So the application is running and all right. So let's go ahead and check it in the browser. So now we have to go ahead and call this function. So let's go into the component and let's comment out the one that's getting the text file. And then we're going to call get users. So on get users. So now if we go back to the browser, so here we see we have two logs. So we have one coming from the user service on line 18. And then we have another one coming on line 37, which is the one in the component. So you can see how we can tap inside of this response or this observable and then take a look at it but that's just the tab operator usually use it to look into the data maybe check for some values and then maybe tick a different logic but you can just look at the data and it's going to return the exact observable that he got as a source so now let's go ahead and look at the map operator 